So, hi everybody. Um, it's been a quite a while since I made a review about my shoes. Um, the first time I made a review was the Rocklite uh, Innovate Rocklite 305. I think that was um, a year ago. And after that, I was using the uh, Trail Club 4 from Merrill. Um, now I'm gonna ha have a few review with this shoe in regards with the advantage and disadvantage um, what my, what was my experience and with the shoes and maybe you'll get some few ideas on whether to buy or use this shoe so first thing is the design I really like the design it has um, it has a really nice shape for an outdoor shoe I mean the only disadvantage with the shape I don't really like to wear this kind of form or shape with you know going out with friends or some party because it's really flat and it doesn't really look good with jeans or even with shorts you know, except with you know shorts for you know um, uh, gym shorts or those kind of things but and for casual activities it's not really that good to look at and um, the other um, the other thing that I like about this shoe is the grip. So as soon as I bought it, I tried the grip and it was so amazing. Vibram does its job really well. It doesn't slip at all. I've been try. I, I tried this with as compared to um, Rocklight 305 from um, um, Innovate. Um, this this brand Vibram is much better. It doesn't really slip or whatsoever. It has a really nice grip, <clears throat> um, and the outer mesh or the cloth above the here this the cloth here is also really nice. I have worn this for um, a Titan race. It's like a mini version of a Spartan race here in Philippines, and um, it easily the water easily goes out. So if you're gonna use this for um, some circuit workout or those kind of um, competitions, this, this shoe is really good. And it also bends together in what activity, if you're gonna go for a rope climb, this is really good because it's really flexible. I mean the flexibility here is amazing. It's so, so flexible. Uh, that's the first thing I also like about this shoe. It's really, really flexible. Um, the disadvantage about this shoe is number one would be the cloth. I don't really like the cloth. It easily turns out. You know, as you can see here, a cut here, and it already has some holes on the, on the side, and also this part right here got torn off as well. So, yeah, even though the shoes has really nice sole, a really nice overall shape, or yeah, um, you can't really, you know, even though if it does, the sole lasts for around two years or three years. Either way, you still have to buy new shoes because it's going to turn. I mean, the cloth here is going to be destroyed eventually, much earlier than the sole. So, that's the disadvantage about this shoe. But um, uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I've been using this shoe for almost every day. Like, in a week, I'll be using it like four or five times with head, just all kinds of activities like for circuit workouts, um, calisthenics, um, um, trail running, or just in the or in the treadmill or in the gym. I've been using this a lot, even for some, even checking our farm. I use this shoe, so this shoe has been through a lot of damage, and uh, even and for a shoe with with. Uh, those kind of activities I'm still happy that it lasted for about a year and a half um, but eventually I'm gonna change the shoe because all the dirt gums inside this part and every day I have to clean it inside um, yeah if you have the chance to buy the shoe I just advise you to um, get the feel of it first if you're a normal if, if you if you um, if st you still don't know, um, if you haven't wear any flat shoes, 
or any yeah any flat shoes and any slipper type running shoes I mean get the feel to it first um, run first around a two kilometer or three kilometer um, check your pacing first or if you're a mid striker or toe or heel or whatsoever um, get the feel of it first then later on increase your kilometers and as you go on and so forth don't do what I just did which after I bought this I ran directly a 15 kilometers with the regular mid strike that I've been doing with my normal shoes and after that my leg all of my legs from my feet to the upper part was hurting a lot I couldn't walk uh, properly for about a week I was walking like Frankenstein during that time and it was horrible um, yeah so yeah if um, if you have the I mean it's not really that expensive if you have if if you think this shoe is for you I mean it's really great shoe it's a shoe that I would invest in if you're really um, um, energetic guy which runs a lot or do um, some outdoor activities a lot this shoe is for you so try it out so thank you for watching bye bye